Hi, this is Jonathan Rosenhead, the Muslim Psychotherapist. This week's Terran Psychology Post for Shavuos is titled, I Can Change. And I say I can change because I want to contrast, it, contrast this phrase with the idea that the Torah will not change. Because on Shavuos, we are celebrating the, the Torah that we received at Har Sinai, and we are appreciating its relevance to us today. That the, the Torah that we have now is the same Torah that we received at Har Sinai. And there's this, there's this continu continuity and consistency and relevance of the Torah that we are both commemorating and also celebrating. And so I want to sort of contrast this phrase, I can change, with the fact that the Torah will not change. And in the Yud Gimel Ikarim, the, prince, the 13 principles of faith, number nine is that the t we will never have another Torah. That the Torah we have now will not be replaced. And this is what we are celebrating on Shavuos. It's an understanding and an appreciation for this principle of faith. That the Torah that we have now is the same Torah that we had at Hasinai and it will, never, it will never change. So what is the significance of this for, for mental health? In Pashas Netzavim, we have the Psukim that say the Torah is Lo Shamayim V'lo Me'eva Ayam. That it's not in the heavens and it's not beyond the sea. It's something that is nearby, something that can be that is reachable and is accessible. And the Ramban develops this further and says that the Pesukim are actually talking about Shuvah. That Shuvah, the ability to change through the guidance of the Torah, is something which is accessible. A person can change. A person can, it's always, they always have the opportunity to make a change in their life. And the, the, the message is that through the guidance of the Torah, through the wisdom of the Torah, a person can find the direction to bring about change in their life. And from a mental health perspective, this means that a person can bring about change. And this is the message that I try to give across in these videos, is to look at the wisdom of the Torah, whether it's in the Pasha Shavua or to discuss the Chagim, and using this Torah wisdom to try to explain how it's relevant to us today, and how it gives guidance to us today, and it pro promotes a better mental health and well-being. So, Rav Salavechik says that this idea, the, the Pesukim in Pasha Shavua, that the Torah is accessible, that it's something that can be obtained and, and it's reachable, is a principle of faith that we believe that we can we have we can access the Torah that we can use the Torah or based on the Ramban that we can use the Torah to help us bring about change in our life. That's also a principle of faith, and it should be. As Salavechik said it should be number fourteen. It should be Yud Yud Dalid Ikarim. But he explains that this potential, this potential fourteenth principle of faith, is actually incorporated within number nine. Number nine, which we said, is that the Torah will not be replaced. So why is this? What is the connection between this potential 14th principle of faith that the Torah is accessible and, and it's something that can always give us guidance? Um, how does that relate to number nine, that the Torah will not be replaced? So on a basic level, we can say that, as we mentioned, the wisdom of the Torah is, is always relevant. It's not restricted to a certain time period or a certain, to, to a certain situation, to a certain context. The wisdom can be applied to every person, in any situation, at any time. And therefore, if we're talking about the Torah being accessible, and based on the Ramban, that it can bring about change, and it can help a person to improve their life, that means that the wisdom of the Torah is always, going to, is always something that we can use, and, it, and it's something that we can tap into to give us guidance, and to give us that hope that we can bring about change. And this is the wisdom of the Torah, that, 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 that we don't need another Torah. We don't need to replace this Torah. The Torah that we received at Hasina and the Torah that we are celebrating now on Shavuos is relevant to us today, and it can give us the guidance that we need in today's struggles. And in the mental health context as well, there's this tendency to believe that, that if someone is struggling with something, they just need something else. They just, they just need, if they achieve this, things will be better. If they maybe had a different job, if they changed friends, if they changed location, or within the context of therapy, if they sometimes a person can feel like they need to change therapists, they're not happy with, with what's happening, with the progress with a particular therapist, and they think, okay, I need to change therapist. Or, or medication, they think that they need to change medication. And in a, in a sense, of, uh, the idea of, therap of a therapeutic process, consistency and continuity is integral to the, to the opportunity and the chance of, of succeeding, of bringing about change. And therefore, if someone has this tendency to, to hold on to this idea of a, of a, of a, fault, of a new hope, that, that they just need to achieve something else, they need to, they need to change something, then it can restrict and limit the, the, the opportunity for change and the opportunity for growth. Because they're concentrating on what they don't have yet, rather than appreciating what they do have and using the, the skills and the guidance that they, that, can, that they can implement now in their life. 
So this is the message of Shavuos, and this is what we're celebrating. And this is the connection between the potential 14th principle of faith and the 9th principle, principle of faith, that the Torah will never be changed because we are appreciating on Shavuos the timeless guidance and wisdom that we have through the Torah and how it can improve our lives. Have a great Shabbos. Chag Sameach and keep well.